everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we're going to every book I have left behind in 2023. So let's get going. So I'm actually just going to speed quick through this because there's quite a lot of books as you can kind of see. So yeah, so up next is, so we have Wish of the Wicked by Danielle Page, Champion of Fate by Kendra Blake. I believe she is the author of Three, three Dead Queens or Crowns? Three Dark Crowns. Yes, I have read that. It was okay. Uh, so we have The Fox Glove by Hannah Winton, Garden of the Curse by Katie Lost Katie Poole, Black Queen by Jamata Emile, Chaos and Flames by Tessa Glatton, Tristan and Lancelot, A Tale of Two Nights by James Pershetti, Blood Lips by, Te by Terry J. Benton Walker, Spin by Rebecca Campala, The Memories of Cleopatra by Margaret George, We Have Seven Faceless Saints by M.K. Law, M Midnight Swags by Zebra Zahan, although I could have sworn I have read this, but we will just go for it. We have The Moonlight Blade by Tessa Barbosa, To Kill a Shadow by Catherine Quinn, Divine Rivals by Rebecca Ross, A Crown of Ivory and Glass by Cleo Legrand. She is also the author of Oh my God, Extasia. There you go. That is like a Handsmaid tale. If you love Handsmaid, that book is for you. The Curse of Ophelia by Nicole Platania. I'm sorry if I have to look over here mostly. It's because there are just too many books for me to remember, so I'm sorry. Our Metro Source by Kristen McManus. Queen Among the Dead by Leslie Livingstone, Son of Blood and Noon by Molly Lawrence, The Shadow of Persons by Claire Haywood, We're All Lying by Betty Still, A Realm of Ash and Shadow by Leia Buckheat, The Poison King by S.G. Prince, Made of Stars by Jenna Vodies, Singing to Sleep by Gabby Burton, A Tall Dark Trouble by Vanessa Montalban, Burlington by Hannah Dixon, the Book of Fates by Rachel Moore. Although, this one's kind of finicky because apparently this book is not meant to Goodreads guidelines. So now we have The Library of Shadows by Rachel Moore. So I'm guessing The Book of Fates is The Library of Shadows. Something like that because that book just, didn't, just did not meet the guidelines. So I don't really know what is up with that book. My next book is The Sun and the Void by Gabriela La Cruz Romeo, The Wicked Unseen by J.J. Griffiths, Such Pretty Flowers by K. Ellen Serra, Shanghai and Malthus by A. Y. Chow. I still have not yet read that book, but I will. My next one is This Dark Descent by Kaylee Jefferson, The Chateau by Jacqueline Goldis, All the Dangerous Things by Stacey Willingham, The Book Spy by Alan Hillard, Never Sing Me Home by Eleanor Sherwood, Bakery in Paris by Amy K. Runyon, Medea's Sister by J. A. Lauren Bear, Midnight by Emmy McCollage, We have Queen Bee by Amalie Howard, I have popped in a new battery because the other one died, so this is almost a fresh one, but we will just keep going with it. Mode One Family Rose by Helen K. Damon. One Way and Girl Unearthed by Angeline Bully. The Father's Grim by Catherine Purdy. Those We Drown by Amy Goldsmith. These Bitter Blooms by Emma Ham. Mother of the River by Emily McPherson. A Hunger of Thorns by Lily Wilkinson. When You Wish Upon a Star by Elizabeth Lynn. Firebird by Sunmi. My next one is Four Found Dead by Natalie D. Richards, Hellfinder by Paula Stokes, A Multitude of Dreams by Mara Rutherford, The Shadow Sister by Lily Mead, The Vicious Game by Joelle Wellington, The Midnight Game by Cynthia Murphy. We have talked a lot about that book. I still have not read it. The Witches of Bordeaux by Anya Bergman, Bling Me in Midnight by Rachel Griffin, Where Darkness Blooms by Andrea Hanna. My next one is All the Dead Lie Down by Carrie McCauley, The Words Awaited by Catherine Greeney, At the Speed of Lies by Cindy L. Otis, The Third Daughter by Adrian Tooley, Dear Medusa by Olivia A. Cole, Ascension by Nicholas Binge, The House in the Pines by Anna Reese, The Sisters of the Lost Nation by Nick Medina, Black Candle Woman by Diane Marie Brown, Plum Poser by Ra Rachel Garrett, Wade in the Water by Ni Niala Nuklima. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. 
We are also good at smiling by Edward McBride, When Ocean Rides by Robin Alvarez, Mountains Made of Glass by Scarlett St. Clair, House of Marion by J.L. She is also the author of Ashes of Gold, in which I really want to get to it. The Stars Are Dying by Chloe C. Pinarada, A Game of Malice and Greed by Caroline Packham and Suzanne Valentine. Fatima Tate Takes the Cake by Khadija Van Blankley. I'm so sorry. Hold It to Flowers by Shannon Morgan. And Do It with the Siren Duke by Elise Culver. And Seely by Evie Lee's Houseman. The Haunting of Alejandra by V. Castro, which I have still not finished reading, I actually still haven't done here. So yeah. Nightbirds by Kate J. Armstrong. Ink Blood Sisters Cry by Emma Torsi. Of Light and Shadow by Tanza Bathina. Mortal Follies by Alexis Hall. On the Savage Side, Tiffany McDaniel. Upon a Frosty Star by Amy Cousinard. The Coven by Harper L. Woods. The Hurricane Wars by Thea Garazon. Friends the Bind by Kika Hanso Polu. Wings Once Cursed and Bound by Piper J. Drake. The Magician's Daughter by J. H. Perry. Death of a Bookseller by Alice Layton. I think I have read this before, but that is The Writing Retreat by Julia Barnes. Now She is a Witch by Christy Logan. Bewitched by Laura Thalassa. Sisters of Stone and Shadow by Laura Bates. After the Forest by Carol Woods. Tonight I Burn by Catherine J. Adams. The Will of the Many by James Islington. The Pork Slain Moon by Jane Shang. Shingeli and the Bride's Head of Oba Lufon by Wal Talaby. I'd rather burn the blue by Shannon C. F. Rogers. What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. I'm Not Supposed to Be in the Dark by Liz M. Nielsen. My Dear Henry and Shankel and Hyde Remix by Kayleen Byron. The Blue Bar by Dame Yannity Biswas. Salt House Plays by Jamie Lee Sogan. The Drowning Woman by Robin Harding. Loth by Nikki Montmary. The Grimmer of Grey Fates by Hannah Alcalf, Margaret Owen, and Preeti Shimberi. I have not read that, even though it's supposed to be for my TBR, but here we are. <laughs> the Just Hard Hand by Sarah Hassan. The Rosewood Hunt by Mackenzie Reed. The Raven Queen by Lindsay Polk by Anne by Lindsay Sparks. The Divine Oblivion by Claire Archer. A Song of Salvation by Alcia Doe. The Legacies by Jessica Goodman. Dark Corners, this is the number two in Rachel Crawl, and it's by Megan Golden. The Hotel by Louise Mumford. Grey Mist Fair by Francesia Zapia. She is the one that wrote Cats and Gemma that I still don't know how to feel about that book. <laughs> it was so weird. Epic of Helen. Helen Thea by M.J. Pankey. Honor and Hilsey by Max Francis. Outlaw Mage by K.S. Villasso. The Water Outlaws by Essel Huang. Midnight at the Houdini by De Delia S. Dodson. The Shadow of Theron by Catherine Pro Troy. Blood Over Bright Heaven by M.L. Wong. The Fraud by Zadie Smith. Midnight is the Darkest Hour by Ashley Winston. Good Bad Girl by Alice Feeney. The Manor House by Gilly McMillan. Christmas Presents by Alyssa Unger, Hamlock Island by Kelly Armstrong, No Season But the Summer by Matilda Laser, The Burnings by Naomi Kelsey, Jezebel by M Megan Bernard, The St. Ambra School for Girls by Jessica Ward, Ophelia and Unity Uling Sears by Elise John, The Red House by Rose Watkins, The Sight by Melanie Golding, The Hike by Lucy Clark, Secrets at Meadow Lake by Wendy Owens. The Girl at the Party by Danielle Stewart. Threaded by Thane Ross. I Feed Her to the Beast and Beast is Me by James and Shia. Find Him Where You Left Him Dead by Kristen Simons. Last to Leave the Room by Kathleen Stalling. A Haunting on the Hill by Elizabeth Han. Land of Milk and Honey by C. Pam Zhang. The Hanging City by Charlie and Holmberg. The Echo of Old Books by Barbara Davies. The Holy Academy of Witches by Alara Black and Freya Gray. Dead Man's Flow by Sean Sauls. The Hexologist by Josia Bancroft. Dark Water Daughter by H.M. Long. The Judas Blossom by Stephen Arian. Emperor Game by Julian V and Ken Ben Bill. Fault 
by Lumen Reese, Emma of the Moon by S. Fraser, The Kingdom of Sweets by Erica Johansson, The Fiction Writer by Gillian Cantor, The Curse of Penrith Hall by Jess Armstrong, and Monsters by Jessica Lewis. And that's actually all the books that we have covered. I know I said I wasn't going to do everything, but I might as well finish it because we had a lot to go, so... I hope you guys liked this and let me know what books you have left back in 2023. I actually might go back and read some of them just because a lot of it sounds promising but other than that, this video is going to be a pain in the butt to edit but I hope you all like this video nonetheless. So please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!